Hey everybody, it's uh, Mark, Dr. Deadwax, and it's time for another recent uh, Vinyl Finds, and uh, this is uh, number 23. Um, so, uh, addendum to the most recent uh, Canadian album of the week, BMG Music Rights apparently agreed with me that that was a review yesterday, so it only took them less than a day to get back to me about that and clear my co their copyright claim. Yet uh, Warner Music Group is on like day 27 trying to figure out if the other one was reviewed. So it's kind of interesting how this stuff is working. Um, no beer tonight. Day off the beer. First uh, thing is I want to talk about a new member, a feature member. And uh, tonight it's uh, Ken Jenks. Uh, Ken's out of uh, Hawaii. He's, uh, he's uh, an original to vinyl as opposed to a younger person who's come into it. He's uh, a little bit older than... Uh, myself, or but he's got uh, he's got a real love of music. He's uh, he's got a really nice uh, Yamaha system that he plays music on, and he uh, he's got lots of great stories about uh, seeing bands back in the day. And uh, I think he, I think it's California he saw them in, and uh, uh, just a, a really great guy. Uh, check him out. I'll put a link down below to him or side or above because they move that thing every six months so wherever it is when you're watching this uh, but Ken Jenks uh, and uh, check him out watch a couple of his videos if he fits with you subscribe away all right so like I said tonight it's mostly rock and it moves a little progressive but first uh, we're gonna start with this one this is uh, REM and uh, life's rich pageant um, I got this for three bucks uh, this is a Canadian pressing, and it has a master disc in the dead wax. I don't know why I didn't take the price tag off it. Um, no inner sleeve. Oh, I can't win them all. It's Canadian pressing on uh, IRS, and. Um, it has master disc in the dead wax, but no plate cutter signature with it. Uh, it's nice to find a Canadian pressing of this with master disc in it because most of my others are just really lousy Canadian mastering. So it's nice to find a clean mastering out of New York City. And uh, for three bucks, I mean, you can't go wrong. This is probably probably my favorite REM record. I had this on cassette, one of the few cassettes. I had a car with a cassette deck for a couple of years. And I used to listen to this uh, driving back and forth to university. And what an album this is. And, and the, the song that, you know, everybody knows off this record is their cover of Superman. Now, most of my friends who liked R.E.M. back in the day liked that song. And, you know, this was still a little too, uh, a little too underground for a lot of people, R.E.M. in that day. Kinko wants to say hello. She's sucking around because she hears me talking to the computer. Um, you know, the, at this point, REM weren't a mainstream band. Um, got a little bit more mainstream with Green. Um, well, they got a little bit more mainstream with Document. And then they got a lot more mainstream with Green. And then they got, you know, totally mainstream with Automatic Free People. But they were still pretty, you know, they weren't super underground, but they were still pretty uh, new wave alternative back then. This is a fantastic record. Uh, Begin the Begine, Hyena, Just in Touch, I believe, these days, The Flowers of Guatemala, Cuyahoga, What If We Give It Away, Follow Me, Swan Swan, and then uh, Superman. So, I can't recommend that one enough. Uh, right Classic. Next is uh, something I picked up a show recently for two bucks. This is Amazing Blondell. The Amazing Blondell. I think they later were just Amazing Blondell. This is Even Song. Um, this is on Island. This is a U.S. pressing. This is on the Island Pink Rim label. And this has the Winchester rifle in the dead wax. So this was pressed at the... Uh, Winchester, Pennsylvania plane. You can see the rifle at uh, at six o'clock there, between five and six o'clock. So, uh, different than 
the other uh, Mason Blondell record I have is, I think it's called London. Um, different than that record. This is a little bit more medieval folk. What is, it? what is this stuff? Medieval, folk, revival, slightly progressive. Um, it's, it's an excellent record. It's it's very kind of slightly Celtic. Um, you have to like that to like this, but if you like that, this is a good example. Uh, these guys were quite talented, and uh, I, re I recommend that record. Next is uh, Portishead. It's third. I picked this up off of Amazon for 10 bucks. I ordered it here, and this was on sale, and I needed something to get the shipping up to uh, to the free range. So this was a $10 Portishead record that did it. And uh, there's the label there. Just And this is on uh, Mercury. I don't know what I could say about this record. This is, if you like, you know, uh, Portishead and Dummy, this is not those records. This is quite different. This is almost, I would say it's almost, it's more progressive. It's uh, maybe a little kraut rocky, a little can, a little uh, North African, Middle Eastern, stuff thrown in it it doesn't have that same kind of groove flow that dummy and uh, self-titled do where the whole album just kind of locks in and just flows the whole way through it doesn't doesn't have that kind of a groove in the same way but actually this is this is an excellent record uh, I heard this when it first came out and I didn't actually like it and now that I got this and I listened to it a few times um, it's really grown on me. So it's nice to kind of revisit something that I'd um, initially been not satisfied with and satisfied. Now, as for the fact that it's a U.S. pressing of new vinyl, this is absolute meh. Um, it's a little noisy. It's not as bad as other people say it is online. This is the 45 RPM pressing. The, U, the European pressing of this is 33 RPM on two discs. This is 45 RPM on two discs. Um, the European pressing is supposedly much better. So if you've got a choice, I mean, for 10 bucks, I can't go wrong, two discs. It's warped, which is just fantastic. Um, and uh, it's so warped, in fact, that when you, when I move the tone arm back to the rest, it scratched the, uh, scratched the record. So that was awesome. Um, so, you know, new vinyl FTL. But great music. Next is... A nice piece from Quebec. This is Avenir. This is their uh, first record. There's the cover. I think the cover is really good. It's almost what, fauvist in a way in the, in the coloring of it. This is on uh, yeah. This is on Trans World. I almost look it's like Quebec disc. Um, is it Quebec disc? Yeah. And interesting about this is that it has uh, SNB in the dead wax, which is we've talked about it before, is for the mastering company, uh, and it's uh, Sabine Nelson Brunet. Is, and and this from being from 1976, this this would be something that he actually would have mastered. Funny thing is on. Um, the B side, uh, it's blank. It just has the label, but they forgot to put the type font in it. And the SNB, like I said, this is actually cut by Sabine Nelson Brunet. I've seen so much of these since before the Inbox Challenge and then all through it that there is a little change in the way the SNB is written uh, in from like 19, I think it's 74 to 76, which is indicative of the period where he was actually doing the uh, mastering himself before he, uh, the company got bigger and he brought other people in. Um, this music is, it's a little bit rock and roll, it's a little bit progressive, it's a little bit fusion-y. Um, I wouldn't say that this is necessarily a prog masterpiece. I think they, 
they got more progressive on the next album to click um, I think that's how you say it but th this is this is an excellent record and I, I recommend uh, people check it out um, I need to listen to it more so it grows on me more but I was very happy with it the first few times I heard it uh, and this was it was five bucks because of the water damage yeah seller had it for ten and I said I'll give you five because the covers water damage but the record wasn't so yeah win 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 for me win for me win win and finally is uh, Sunburst by Sheik Fours and Froling uh, SF SFF and I've talked about SFF before when I showed their first record uh, Symphonic Pictures this is their uh, second record Sunburst now this is a German pressing on brain uh, not green brain on the uh, orange brain label now this is a first pressing on brain um, I don't know quite how to read the dead wax on this German stuff um, but one side has the letter D and one side has the letter C they're just kind of floating out there on their own in the dead wax but I'm wondering if that means they're third and fourth played or if, if that's just you know completely something else and they're both first pressing I have no idea um, other than that they just got matrix numbers and the number 320 in them off on its own and then this one C and and the D and they're just the one is on its own and the D is on its own uh, and the covers split to shit but you know, it's just along the seams, so it's just a re-glue. What can I say about this? Uh, Symphonic Pictures is a better record. Uh, it's definitely a better record than this. Uh, but this is a really, this is a good record. Um, still progressive, still has that sound that Symphonic Pictures has. Leaning a little, slight bit more commercial. Um, but, you know, still far enough out there to not actually be commercial. Just, just not as successful as the first record. I think if this was the only record they put out, you know, you'd say, oh yeah, that's a really good record. I just, it doesn't quite measure up to the first one, but I think it's still excellent. I also, this, I got this for $6.66. I also at the same time picked up the first two so the first two records by Fours and Froling after uh, Schick left, which follow the next album after this. There's another record by SFF, and then there's two records, or maybe more than two, but there's definitely two by F and F. Um, and I still have to check those out. So, but I, I, I got a you know, I paid twenty bucks for the three of those, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, so, I'm going to recommend this. I, I think it's. I think it's worth buying, um, especially if you can get it, you know, it's 10 bucks. Uh, Avenir, another great French progressive leaning record from the 19, mid 1970s. I just, what a wonderful time for music in Quebec. That must have been just amazing to have lived there. Uh, Porter's Head, third. You know, everybody loves that record. Uh, Amazing Blondel, even song. If you like the uh, kind of traditional medieval folk, then I, I can recommend it. Um, you know, because it's 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 very strong. It's very well done, and you know, life's rich pageant. This is just a classic. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Keep the record spinning.